This is Nancy Drew and the Secret of the Silver Ranch, I think is what it's called. I think this is the one that Siha played last, or she played it sort of recently. She said she was infuriated by it, so I have to figure out what pissed her off about it. I didn't watch anything, any spoilers, but she said she was excited for me to play it, so uh, this is the cowboy one. Shadow Ranch. Sorry, I thought it was Silver Ranch. I'm excited. Welcome to my latest case. The oh yeah, the secret, secret of, of Shadow, Shadow Ranch. Ranch. To start, choose junior or senior detective. Oh shit. Games, what are we going to do? Have. Choose gameplay overview. Oh, fucking senior detective one. Dear Hannah, well, Let's go, bitch. Shadow Ranch, but I'm afraid all is not well. The Raleigh's, the people who own the ranch have been called away on some kind of emergency. They had Dave Gregory, he's their foreman, pick me up at the airport. Oh! The phone number, told Look me at to that call the ass. At that number as soon as I got settled in and refused to tell me anything else. In fact, he barely Horse said two back. words to me the whole <laughs> ride to the ranch. What's worse, Bess and George aren't here yet, which is very strange. Because even though we had to take different flights, we figured we'd get into Phoenix at about the same time. Ooh! It feels odd. After all, the Raleigh's are their aunt and uncle, not mine. I wouldn't even be here if Bess and George hadn't begged them to invite me out to the ranch for two weeks, too. Until about three months ago, the Raleigh's owned a clothing store. Bess said it was always their dream to sell the store and buy a cattle ranch. I hope they're okay. There's so much but information being flashed at me. Is, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this place. Love, Nancy. Also, we have a cell phone, but you're writing letters? Oh my god, I love this. I, I feel like this painting would be on velvet. You ever see those, like, velvet paintings? I love them. Okay. What's this book? Oh, it's a brand. The City Sli what was it called? The City Slicker's Guide to something? Okay. Uh, y blah, blah, blah. They use horses. Okay. For herding. They don't like to use motor vehicles. Okay. Oh, the different kinds of horses. Do I need to keep this or do I just need to know this is here? That's a very, that is a very high def photo of a fucking horse mouth. You got a real purdy mouth. Oh, book two is somewhere else. Okay. Well, we'll just remember that that's there, I guess. Okay, oh. Paint dries in record time due to record heat. Local science teacher spends most day watching paint dry. Says it's the most excitement he's had in years. 118, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, a schnauzer was abducted from a backyard. Oh my God. Is the doggy okay? Anything else? Ooh, what's going on up here? That's not the right time. Must be broken. Okay, we need to remember this has rainbows on it and they're different colors and it's clearly a key for something later. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Oh, hello, what are you? Uh, okay, just some blankies. Oh, oh, look, it's the clock face. Something goes here. Okay, we need something from the clock face, and there's three colors, red, blue, and yellow. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, we need a key, probably, to open this. Hmm. All right, Nancy, shut up. Oh. Uh, we have a bunch of... Oh, the City Slicker's Guide Part 2! Uh, more shit about horses. I don't care. I'm gonna need this later. This is, okay, I'm sorry. This is a horse thirst trap and everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. That would be on this horse's Instagram in a damn minute. <laughs> Please. Look, if John Oliver can make jokes about horses having thirst traps, I can do it too. What is that this one? He's looking back at it. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Ooh, what's this note say? How do I get to there? I want to go to there. Still fixing up front porch, use back door. <laughs> oh! And it's underlined, so you know it's suggestive. Just like horseback was when he came to pick her up from the airport. What is this? Oh! Like wind through my heart. Oh my god. Okay. To. Does it say Tibet? <laughs> and not Beth? Okay. My aunt's name is Bet. Oh, really? Francis Humber. Wonder who she was. She's got a pocket watch in her hand. I feel like that's going to be important. Ooh. Phoenix and surrounding areas will be hot and dry today with temperatures expected to reach the mid 90s by 5 this afternoon. After that, temperatures will begin to drop with a nighttime low in the mid 60s. Most areas to the south and west of Phoenix can expect more heat for the next several days, while areas to the north and east should also expect rapidly developing thunderstorms. So if you're going to be hiking, biking, camping, or horseback riding, be aware that sudden downpours and flash floods are always a possibility at this time of year, and don't go into the wilderness areas unprepared. We've oh. got several livestock auctions in the area. Okay. A little heavy-handed there, but I appreciate it. Okay, is there anything on this table? Oh, I guess not. What about this fridge? The sheriff's number. Oh my god, why does this rooster have teeth? <laughs> it's an Easter egg! Uh, okay, what all the different things, like measurements are. I guess we're gonna have a recipe at some point. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Man, sitting here, look at this, look at the planes of his ass. You, to get that kind of a V in your ass, take it from a professional, you have to be clinched to get that. That man is fully clinched. Fully clinched at the stove top. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you must be Nancy. I'm the cook, Shorty Thurmond. Welcome Shorty. to Shadow Ranch. Come on over here and tell me about yourself. You have talked to the Raleigh's, right? Uh, I haven't. Is that important? I promised the Raleigh's I wouldn't talk to you until after they did. That's so weird, but okay. I just wanted to look around a little first. Do you have any idea how hard it is to have an interesting conversation with those two guys out there? It's impossible. So call the Raleigh's, then come right back. Okay. Shut up, I hate you. I don't need that right now. What? He just told me to call the Raleigh's. I probably shouldn't touch this. Uh, okay. How do I call them? Can I use the back door? Oh, hello, man who was picking me up from the airport. <laughs> you call the Raleigh's yet? Oh, uh... I thought I'd do a little poking around first. No offense, ma'am, but this here's a working cattle ranch. Somebody tells you to do something, it'd be a good idea to get in the habit of doing it. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> okay. Goddamn. Everybody wants me to call the damn... Well, okay, but I wanted to do that. I wanted to do that, Nancy. Dumbass bitch. Uh, oh, but I, do I have a directory? Okay, Raleigh's. Call. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy, are you Thank at you, the Higston. ranch? Thank you, Higston. Yes, and I'm a little concerned <clears throat> that you're not. Is everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. Oh, I mean, it is now. It wasn't last night, of course. Everything would have been fine last night if you hadn't made such a fuss. Well, how Rude. could I not make a fuss? There was a rattlesnake in our bedroom for Pete's sake. Did you say rattlesnake? I told Ed to leave it alone and let one of the hands get it out of there, but no, Ed started poking at it with my yardstick, and all of a sudden it leapt up and bit him. Well, they'll do that if you poke it. 
Uh, Rebel Rouse and Own Insanity, thank you so much. Where? In the bedroom, dear. I could have sworn I mentioned that. <laughs> no, Mrs. Raleigh. I mean, where did it bite him? On his arm? On his leg? Oh, on his arm, just below the elbow. Swelled up something awful. That's where my brother got bit by a poisonous snake. He's doing much better today, and the doctors think he'll be well enough to go home in a day or so. I'm well enough to go home right now. No, you're not. If I don't stay here with him, he'll get up and walk right out that door. No, I won't. What can I do to help you? Oh, nothing, dear. Absolutely nothing. You just go get a horse from Tex. He's the head wrangler. And go riding to your heart's content. I told Shorty to go ahead with the cookout I planned for tonight and... The envelope. Have her take that envelope to Mary. Oh, good idea. There's an envelope in the roll-top desk in the den marked Mary. If you could ride over to Mary Yazzie's and give it to her, we'd really appreciate it. Uh... I'd love to. Is there an address on the envelope? Dave will tell you how to get there. She's gonna have to get the key to the desk from him, too. Oh, that's right. I always lock the roll top. Dave has the key. Sweet. Oh, dear. It <clears throat> seems like there was something else I wanted to tell you. The horse, bitch. Tell her about the phantom horse. Phantom horse? Phantom horse? Phantom horse? Yes. You see, last night we... Hello, Mr. Raleigh. Time for those tests. Uh-oh. We have to go. Don't worry about us, dear. You just go have fun. Just be sure to wear a hat and drink plenty of water. It's gonna be another hot one. Bye! No, wait. Just tell me about the... Phantom horse? Alright. I can't wait to be haunted by a horse. I'm gonna get... Wait. Where did... Where did... There he is. Oh, no! Fuck. I just want to go this way. <laughs> I want to go to the other guy. There he is. I want to talk you to talk you. You talked to the Raleigh's? I sure did. Do you think Ed's going to be all right? He'll be okay. Getting bit by a rattler's no picnic, but it sounds like he's out of the woods. Uh, okay. Ed said something <clears throat> about a phantom Evie, horse. Evie, thank you so you much. You know what she was talking about? This glowing horse came galloping up out of the dark, making a real ruckus. Everybody woke up and went running outside to look. It reared up a couple times, then spun around and went racing off the way it came. Okay. By the time anybody thought about going after it, it had disappeared. Mm. It was glowing. It was painted. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Guess you're going to be asking me a lot of questions, huh? Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Am I bugging you? The Raleigh said you were a detective. Um, I'm a senior detective, bitch. So put some respect on my name. <clears throat> Amateur detective. It's just kind of a hobby. I'm going to be honest with you, ma'am. We were short a couple hands to begin with, and now with the Raleigh's gone and everybody on edge over what happened last night, well, this is not a good time to be visiting Shadow Ranch, that's all. Okay. Um. Oh. The Raleigh's asked me to take something out to Mary Yazzie's, but it's in the den in the roll-top desk, which is locked. They said you had the key? Sure do. They gave me their key ring at the hospital. Great, thanks. To Give get me. to Mary's shop, just follow the trail that goes northeast out of the corral. Can't miss it. And I should probably warn you, she doesn't like the Raleigh's. Why not? No idea. Not really any of my business. Uh, okay. I'll let you get back to work. <clears throat> Take care. Okay, I need to talk to the cook guy. Clinchy McClincherson. Tell me you've called the Raleigh's. I have, and I still can't believe what happened to Ed. That is creepy, isn't it? But the horse, that was even creepier. See, I was just about to crawl into bed last night, when all of a sudden, this glowing horse comes galloping up outside. It stops and rears and paws, whinnying and snorting. Then it just wheels around and gallops off into the night. It was Dirk Valentine's horse, you know. Now it's a phantom. Dirk Valentine? Dirk Valentine was an outlaw around here back in the 1880s. Legend has it he was in love <clears throat> with Frances Humber. She lived right oh. here on Shadow Ranch. Unfortunately, her daddy was the sheriff. Something tells me this story does not have a happy ending. Because of him, Valentine was captured and eventually hanged. Ever since, the ghost of his horse has been roaming the desert, cursing whoever sees him with bad luck. Oh. What a great story. Story? All I know is Ed Raleigh sees the horse, and what happens less than two minutes later? He gets bit by a rattlesnake. 
You do the math. I hate math. Fuck off. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Okay. Can I get, like, some water from the fridge? Nope. Apparently not. Uh, where's my, like, tools? Ah, the key. Oh, can I, like, use it, or? What does that mean? What's all acquired items, okay. What? Hmm. But it's the key to the desk? How do I, can I, oh, I can click that. Okay, that's really poor. You have to X out of it first. Okay, now I have to put it back. <laughs> Mary Yazzie. Suppose you fired me. Don't make another mistake and think that you've heard the last of me because you haven't. We all know that I deserved a second chance. Letting me go without giving me one was just plain wrong. In fact, know what your problem like is? This Jane Nash person has it out for the Raleigh's. You don't believe in justice, but see, I do. That's the way my brother and I were raised. Justice always prevails, although sometimes it needs a little help. All right, threats. Hmm. The Raleigh's sold a trunk full of junk to Mary Yazi. Okay. All right, enough snooping. Do we like, do I lock it or? I feel like I heard it lock, but. Okay, yeah, that's just how you open it. Okay. <clears throat> Justice. All right, uh, how do I get like equipment? How do I prepare myself? for going on a ride. This man is still at the chicken coop. Oh. Oh, barrel bending basics. I'm not gonna be doing that. <clears throat> okay, what do I... All the different parts of the horse. Do I get to like pick a horse? No? Oh, what's this? Always check your girth before hitting the trail. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that at that. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that at that. Always be girth checking. <laughs> oh, it's like for weighing stuff, okay. Oh, oats, okay. Oh god, other like foods or something. It's for like different types of food, okay. Horse feeding, measure by pound into bucket. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know which horse I'm using yet, so I don't know which one to do. So I'm gonna leave. Well, hello there. You got some friends back there? All right, don't be fucking weird, Nancy. No sense going in there without a horse to ride. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna turn around. I actually want to go this way. Because I should ask which horse I'm gonna take. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? Oh. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Okay, do I just pick a fucking horse or what? I'm gonna go in here. Oh, okay. It's like some sort of generator. A sink. <laughs> New Twitter bio. <laughs> Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, a bunch of different recipes, okay. Hey, you crowded me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. Oh. Okay, fine, fuck you. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna pick a horse. 
I go over here? What's over here? Oh, a bunch of different tomates. All right, that's cool. Play like a little garden. Okay, so can I just pick a horse? I like Bob. Tex would have a cow if I rode bareback. Okay, so I'm gonna go get a saddle. How do I get back? Bob's saddle. Uh, does this say Bob? It's hard to tell. Oh, I can't click it. This is the only one I can click? Oh, there's Bob's saddle. Okay, sweet. Oh, I can't click anything of, around it, though. Huh. Okay. There's nothing to click. Oh, I have to talk to Tex. I have talked to him. There's something on the floor near- Oh, there was like a mousetrap, but I couldn't click it. I did talk to Tex. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? This was the only thing I haven't asked. How wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Night times when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Hmm. Has anything like that ever happened here before? Not since I've been here. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Uh, Knitted Zombie, thanks so much. Let's see. Where's like my checklist? Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I want the task list! <laughs> I want the task list. Oh, okay. Hey, you don't think about taking my eggs. <laughs> you guys did this to me. You made this choice for me. Where else can I go that I haven't gone? Maybe over here or... Nothing with that. I must have to feed, feed him. Okay, so. On the board, it says what kind of food Bob eats. Bob eats ration A, which is two or oats. Fucking hell, can't read, can't read. Wait, I can't talk, fuck! Two oats, one corn, and one and a half mixed pellets. Okay, so. Oh, oh, what's that? Okay. Uh, all right, so I gotta figure out what the things look like because I gotta go back to the book. Okay, the book that I want. Oh fuck, it's over here. Oh, that's a different book. Oh fuck, it's on the other bookshelf. It's on this one. Yeah. What they eat, what they eat. Okay. I'm gonna take photos. I need oats, corn. I know what corn looks like. And pellets. Okay, I'm gonna just take a photo of what these look like. <laughs> okay, um, it's important that grain be added to a horse's diet slowly. Always remember to go by the weight of the grain and not its volume. 
i.e. a gallon of oats, is quite different from a pound of oats. And to use a properly, properly calibrated scale when mixing grain sources. Never he feed a horse more than five pounds of grain at a time. If a horse needs to eat more than five pounds of grain a day, divide the ration into at least two possible feedings. Separated by as much time as possible. Okay, so I don't want to hurt it. Uh, call the veterinarian. Don't give the horse food or water. And keep it walking if it tries to roll. Okay. Okay, but there was like pellets were in there and they, they weren't photoed. But go by the weight it says and not the volume. Wait, so is this gonna tell me what scoop a scoop is or something? Because what was it? <clears throat> Measure by pounds is what it says at the top. Okay, so two pounds of oats, one pound of corn, and one and a half of mixed pellets. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we go. So <clears throat> what's this one? I don't know what you're supposed to be. How do I know what the fuck this you things are? They looks like this looks like pellets. Better not go messing around in there. Oh. Okay, I can't do anything. Better not go messing around in there. Oh, okay. So I don't need to feed them. Well, fuck. I'm trying to check my girth. I'm trying to get a fuck. Ooh! There's somebody in here. This whole time! Excuse me? The Raleigh said they were going to be inviting some young ladies out here. Why are you talking I like that? You're one of them. Okay, he low key looks like. You remember at the end of Ever After when um, Drew Barrymore is sold to the guy, like the rich dude, that she like, like cuts his face? This guy looks like he was modeled off of that actor. <laughs> this to ever after <laughs> uh, okay the Raleigh's said they're gonna be inviting some young ladies yes yes I'm Nancy Drew and you are I'm the head wrangler you want to ride you come to me you prove to me you know what you're doing I may just let you why are you talking like that how do I prove to you I know what I'm doing? First thing you're gonna do is never ride unless you're wearing a hat and gloves. And unless you got a full canteen of water, you can wear that hat over there. It's Mrs. Raleigh's. Got a helmet built right in. Her gloves are on the saddle you'll be using. And you can get a canteen from Shorty. Then oh, you're sweet. gonna saddle and bridle your horse. No need to brush them. I do that when I bring them in. Then you're gonna lead them to the mountain block in the corral and mount up. Then I'm gonna ask you some questions. You can't ride outside the corral until you get all the answers right. Uh, okay. Once I pass your test, can I ride any time I want? Long as you talk to me first. When you're done riding, you're gonna dismount, hook your horse up, take the saddle and bridle off and put them back where you got them. Always keep your gloves with your saddle. Uh, okay. Which horse would you like me to ride? The bay over there. Name's Bob. If you get off when you're on the trail, don't tie your reins to nothing. Just drop them. And barring an earthquake or something, old Bob will stay put. Okay. Did you see the phantom horse last night? I saw something. Just what? I still ain't sure. Talk to you later. If you last <laughs> that long. Good life, I last that long! All right.
right, I'm gonna go get my canteen from Shorty. <laughs> get ready for an earthquake, I guess. Hello? Oh my god! Hi, it's Beth. Jump it's scare. Hi, I'm at the ranch. Where are you guys? Yes. Uh-oh. I'm not going to like this, am I? We're at the airport in Omaha, Nebraska. Our plane had to land here so they could fix some problem with the radio, and now they're saying we could be on the ground for hours. Well, at least they didn't cancel the flight. Yet. I mean, who knows what's really going on? Yeah, no one around here ever gives you a straight answer. So what's going on there? A lot. Last night, Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet found a rattlesnake in their room. Oh my gosh! Are they okay? Well, actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> Is he alright? He will be. Right now, he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh my gosh! And apparently, <laughs> oh me a phantom gosh. horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. We're so bored. George just bought a book on 19th century clothing and accessories. Um, that George sounds sick. Did. It's the only thing in the bookstore here that looks halfway interesting. So if you need to know anything that's even remotely related to 19th century fashion, let us know. Okay. okay. Sounds good to me. So what else has been going on? That will be handy. I'm sure there'll be a quiz on bustles and everything else they wore in the fucking 1800s. Okay. Apparently last night, this glowing horse came galloping up out of nowhere, caused a huge commotion, then went galloping off and disappeared. It was glowing? It looked like it was glowing. You're there investigating phantom horses and what are we doing? A big fat nothing. That does it, George. We're suing the airline. <laughs> All right, Karen. The cook, Shorty Thurman, he says the phantom horse belonged to this outlaw named Dirk Valentine, who was hanged back in the 1880s. Is this Valentine guy a phantom too? Uh, I don't think so. Well, how come his horse got to become a phantom and he didn't? Beth, phantoms don't really exist. Okay. According to legend, seeing the horse is bad luck. I believe it. I mean, look at what happened to the guy who owned him. Uh, Don't you this? think it's kind of odd how that rattlesnake showed up in the Raleigh's bedroom right after that phantom horse showed up outside? You don't buy that it was an unfortunate coincidence? I think it was more like a well-planned distraction. So, you're saying someone used the horse to lure everyone outside, then put the snake in their room, knowing no one would be watching? It's possible, don't you think? But if you're right, it means someone wants to hurt Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed. Oh my gosh! If you're right, oh my gosh. that someone is on the ranch! And whoever it is must be working with an accomplice. You know, someone to wrangle the horse. So everyone there is a suspect. That's right. Well, you don't have to sound so happy about it. All right. That's it for now. Stay in touch. That's an order. Y'all are boring. Okay. Give me my canteen shorty. Mm, 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 mm. Also, why put the little exclamation point on this when I can't even use it? Hey there, Nancy. Man, I wish the Raleigh's were here. Me too. It'll be nice to talk to them in person. I'm really looking forward to you and me sitting down and having a nice conversation. Especially with all the weird stuff that's going on. I'm so busy getting all their chores done in addition to my own that I barely have time to talk to myself. Let alone to you. Enough of me complaining. And yet here you What's are, up? talking to me. Well, I need a canteen. What? Oh. <laughs> that was a sticker from my mouse it's new and i didn't pull the like protective coating off of the mouse button <laughs> well i'd better get going don't be a stranger okay well i thought you were gonna give me a canteen uh well that's annoying okay i guess i'm gonna get my stuff the hat first maybe
take this hat and the gloves and the saddle. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll get cheese to put in that trap. Okay. Do I need a bridle as well? Is he gonna let me grab one? Grab one? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, they already have one on. Well, not really. They don't have like a bit or anything. Okay. How do I put my hat on? <laughs> Like, oh. How do I, like, put it on me? <laughs> it's like... Oh, there's no food in this thing. All right, that's it. Now I made it real clear that you ain't allowed to go I wasn't gonna go riding! Me first. So take that saddle off, cause from now on, Wait, only no! you're gonna get anywhere I was trying to help. on your own two feet. Oh man, I died. <laughs> oh, cancel that one. Second chance. Damn, I died. And if I All back right, off, that's, that's it. it? Okay, now sorry. I made it real clear that you ain't allowed to go ride unless you check with me first. So take that saddle off, cause from now on, only where you're gonna get anywhere around here is on your own I just was trying to set it feet. all up so I could tell you I was ready to ride. Dang, okay. Nut and Pop was a good choice. Need something? May I go riding now? Nope. With her all is gone, the ranch is real short handed. Before you ride, you're gonna have to go see if Shorty's got a Are we easy, thank you. Doing. Gotta get a canteen from him anyway. I tried that, bitch. Talk to you later. Yahoo. I guess I needed that bit of dialogue, which is so annoying. I don't wanna lug this saddle around all day. I should put it back. Ugh, annoying. Nancy, you're so annoying. Uh oh, Ooh, something. I better put that back. Out of it. Ooh, something from Jay Nash to Tex. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, Jay Nash is Tex's sister. Oh. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Whisper McWhisperson. As a, a sister that was spurned. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Tex said I should get a canteen from you and see if there are any chores you'd like me to do. Music to my ears. First thing you can do for me is go out to the garden and pick all the ripe vegetables. You know what ripe vegetables look like, don't you? No, but don't worry, I'll find out. Good, because if you pick vegetables that aren't ripe yet, I'll be real ticked. You can put them in the vegetable basket that's hanging outside. And one more thing. Sometime today, I need you to build a cooking fire in the pit outside. I'll light it when I'm ready to start cooking. And be sure you to fill the it. bucket out there with water and leave it by the pit. You know, just in case something catches on fire that isn't supposed to. The Raleigh's wanted to have a cookout tonight. And by golly, we're going to have a cookout no matter who is or isn't here. Okay. Never mind, Ryan. Well, ask. I better get uh, going. Space Don't Cactus, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta go look up ripe vegetables. I'm sure that's like a fucking book somewhere. Okay. Uh, it wasn't on that shelf. Cause this was just like my heart or whatever. 
Dang. Okay. There was nothing about vegetables in this, was there? Trial and error is the best way to learn. Are you trying to set me up for failure? But I don't know how else to find out. Uh huh. Okay. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go, bitch. I'm ready to trial and error this fucking veggie. <laughs> this veggie patch. Okay, I gotta get the the basket. Where did he say? He said it was hanging outside. Where's the veggie basket? Veggie basket that's hanging outside. There we go. Okay. Alright. Let's go, hoes. This? Definitely. Yup. I'm gonna say none of these other ones are. Although... This definitely could. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Oh, these. Yup. Give me some of those. Uh. I mean. These look about as big as they can be. Uh. See. I feel like it's not gonna penalize me for them being I feel like these are <sighs> I'm gonna leave them it's so okay. hot I should get these vegetables into shorty right away let's go bitch let's Pick see how I did vegetables for me yet you betcha hey there's stuff that's way over wrap in here Damn. well I'll just pitch it in the meantime go back out there and try again you got it. Damn, I knew those beans were overripe, but I thought he wasn't... I think I literally said he's not going to get mad if they're too ripe. Dang. All right. These look good. Um, these look good. Um, those look nice. Um, <laughs> this one and these. It's so hot. I should get these vegetables into short. I'm right gonna away. do it, you bitch. Vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Oh, Tanks, no. thank you so much. You pick stuff that wasn't ripe yet again. Shit. Oh well, there's only one thing to do. I don't understand, dear. Didn't <laughs> Shorty tell you to only pick things that were ripe? I got fucking killed. Yes. But he says that you went out and picked vegetables that weren't ripe. Yes, I'm afraid I did. Oh, dear. That garden is an important source of food for us. We simply can't have someone picking things willy-nilly and wasting perfectly good vegetables. Can we, Ed? We could wind up with scurvy. You're just not responsible enough for ranch life yet, dear. So you, you invited me here, and you're not even here! Developed the proper respect for produce, we'll invite you back. All right? Unbelievable. Did it reset it completely? It didn't. It only reset my second choice here. Or like second chance or whatever. So I really need to figure out proper respect for produce. It's so hot. I should get these vegetables into shorty right away. Wait, but I didn't pick any. And he's going to yell at me. I think I... Yeah, I think I can't... I didn't... Save. <laughs> and I think now, like, I can't go back. Oh, no. There's more rap stuff out there than oh. that. Oh. You bet there is. Okay. Woo! I was worried I soft locked it. Okay, so I should save.
There has to be a book or some shit, right? Like... That's the City Slicker's Guide. Is there a book? Can someone tell me if there is a book? Maybe in the kitchen. No, there isn't a book. Fuck! There's nothing to help me? It's just a guessing game or what? Oh, can I use my cell phone? Hello? Hey, Bess. Nancy, our link to the world of excitement and intrigue and decent food. What's the latest? That's it for now. Have fun. Wish you were here. Kidding. Okay, annoying. Is the middle button the internet? Ooh, internet browser. Okay, I can search for things. Uh, harvesting vegetables. Okay, here we go, yes. Bell peppers, no, don't want bell peppers. Okay, sorry, what did it say? Beans that are meant to be eaten, are eaten pod and all are called snap beans because it's when they're ready to eat, the pods are easily snap when bent. Some, ver some varieties grow like a bush, others vine and can be trained to grow up a pole or trellis. Ripe beans should be pinched or cut off a plant, not pulled. The more beans you pick, the more the plant will produce. So harvest them frequently, daily if necessary. The beans on the left are underripe. The beans in the middle are ripe. And the beans on the right are overripe. Okay. So no wiggly ones. Just straight ones. Dry beans are... Wait, you know what? I'm going to go out to the thing. And then go on the web. It says black turtle. Okay, red when ripe, beef steaks. Okay, don't need any of those. Northern lights are on the other side. I'm not gonna look at those. Golden queens are orange yellow when ripe. So those two are definitely ripe. So these two are definitely ripe. And you don't want any that are the black turtle ones, does it say? Fucking hell. Black turtle is one of the dry beans. And they, it says, um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. Pot on the left is underripe. The pot in the middle is ready for harvesting. The beans on the right are what's considered a ripe pod. Okay, so don't pick anything that's like this for these. Okay. Beef steaks, none of them are, so I gotta go to the other ones. Okay. Romano ones. Romano's the snap peas, so none of the wigglies. 
Only the ones that look... Why would you have it be like a page break for <laughs> the photo I needed? Okay, so not these or these. I feel like those are good. Oof. It's so hard to tell. I feel like... I'm just gonna keep going because I feel like those are the ones I feel least confident about so I can just poke, like, pick them one at a time. Old ivory egg. Oh, what's that? Are they a fucking... What the hell? California Wonder. Wait, what was this one called? Romanian Rainbow, but it's like spelled weird. What is Old Ivory Egg? That's not on here. I can't click down anymore. Oh, there's Old Ivory Egg. Okay, oh my God. I was like, where the fuck is it? Okay, golden white when ripe. I feel like none of these are golden white to me. Okay, Northern Lights though. Those are kind of golden-y. Northern Lights. Fucking give me the vegetable info, you bitch. All right, Northern Lights. Bi-colored when ripe. The best things are. I feel like none of those are ripe either. Okay, so I'm back to <laughs> Old Ivory Egg is my stage name. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm back to these. I feel like these could be ripe. I'm just gonna pick those and then try my look. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Oh no! You Shit. picked stuff that wasn't ripe yet again! Oh, well, there's only one thing to do. I don't understand, dear. God Didn't Shorty it. tell you to only pick things that were ripe? Yes. But he says that you went out and picked I'd have to listen to this whole fucking ripe. thing? Yes, I'm afraid God. I did. Oh dear. That garden is an important source of food for us. We simply can't have someone this picking is so things so annoying. And wasting perfectly good vegetables. Can we, Ed? <laughs> we could wind up with scurvy. You're just not responsible enough for Sir, you just got bit by a rattlesnake. Shut so the why fuck don't up. You go back to River Heights, and just as soon as you've developed the proper respect for produce, we'll invite you back. All right? Rude as hell. Oh, like take a look as is that like a different thing? Okay, so what fuck, I need to remember which ones I thought were for sure good. This is so annoying. Golden Queen were the ones that were like reddish, right? Orange yellow when ripe. Like, that is fucking... Like, there's other stuff there that I feel is... And none of the beef steaks I feel good about. And those, none of them are dry, so I'm not gonna pick any of those. I don't feel good about any of those or any of these. And it said I picked something that was... I'm just going to see if there's more after I do these two. Just those two. So Sherilyn, hot. thank I you so much. Vegetables into Shorty right away. 75 months, that's crazy. Thank you, Aviza. Pick those vegetables for me yet? Take a look. Good for you. Now, second thing I need you to do for me is take this, go out to the chicken coop and fill it up with eggs. Just be careful of that basket. It's kind of old. 
And don't forget to build me that campfire like I asked. Okay. Right. Shut the fuck. Oh, yeah, I should save. You're right. That basket is a trap. It looks like a fucking trap. I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> Why can't I use the vegetable basket? It makes me crazy. How do I get him out then? Oh, there's more pins that I'm clicking. Oh no! There's a hole in it. The basket broke. Right click pieces to rotate. This is gonna take me forever. I'm here, maybe? Like a really big piece? Oh, like this one. So this probably doesn't go here. Um, another really big piece. Oh, but it doesn't go there. probably goes here yeah okay you go out of the way oh you go here the lines not connecting like above or below is really annoying uh, okay so I'm not gonna touch any not huge pieces yet yeah that's good okay uh, Let's see. Ooh, here maybe? Oh, but they go down. Okay. This one has a special pattern to it. Okay, what's the next biggest one? Probably this one. Uh, just double checking the work I've done so far. Yep, yeah, okay. Um. That, another really big piece, and they all go down, okay, uh, this has the same sort of width as these, and these, and this. There, am I good or what? Okay, what do you want from me? Voila! But there's no more eggs. <laughs> like now there's no eggs, but the basket is filled. Can I like turn or? took six. Probably to make the fire or whatever. I want to talk to... Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. Tex seems a little ornery. He does his job and he does it good. Far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. I talked to my friends, Bess and George. Their plane's been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. All right, rude. I'll let you get back to work. See you later. 
<gasps> Ooh! This one's here, but she doesn't like when you're in there. Because she'll go crazy if you take her egg. I got an egg. Oh, I got another egg. I'm gonna take this egg. Oh, I got so many eggs! Alright, you are scary. Oh my god, she's killing me! I thought I would just get to look at her! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. I thought I was just gonna fucking look at her! I didn't think I was gonna try and take anybody's fucking egg! I got attacked by a chicken! 